Hello friends, welcome. Now I have created some uh, projects here as you can see and for Laravel I have created two projects. And if I go, also I have added my Udemy course here. So if I click, we navigate to my course. Okay, and here we have all the projects. Now let's get started and work with filtering. So if I click the HTML, I want to display only the projects belong to the HTML skill. And if I click the all, I want to display all the projects, bring them all again. So let's so inside the resources, JS components, uh, front end, we need to work with the projects here. Here, when we say projects data, I want to send the filtered projects. So for that, let's uh, import here, import the ref from view. Okay, then I'm going to create a constant for the probes. So let's say const props is going to be able with the define props. And then here, now I'm going to say const uh, filtered, I'm going to name it filtered projects. It's going to be by default equal to ref. And here I'm going to add props dot projects dot data. And with that now, let's just copy this. And here when we add projects data, we can add that filtered projects. Now if I save and refresh here, we have uh, the same thing. Okay. Now let's go back. And when we have a button here, we have a the button for all I want. When we click here, I want to filter the projects and get on all the projects. Otherwise here we filter by the, the skill ID. So let's create a method to filter the projects. So here I'm going to say to create a const, I'm going to name it filter projects. So here we have filter at projects and here we have a method to filter the projects and this filter project is going to accept the id and i'm going to say first here we need to check if the id is equal to this all here because we don't have the id for that i'm going to say if the id is triple equal to the string all if that is the case, I want to say the filter at projects dot value, we need to add the value, is going to be equal to props dot uh, projects dot data, the same. Okay, otherwise, else, so if, if the ID is not this all but is the project skill ID we are going to add here. So let's copy this one and add it on this button. We are going to say on click of this button, I'm going to filter the projects and we, here we need to add the ID. And I'm going to add the all for this one. Okay, and for the others, we are going to say on click filter projects is going to call, and here we need to add the project skill dot id. Now here is the skill id. With that, now we can say if. This is all, we are going to display all the projects. So we are going to reassign the filtered project with this one. 
else we are going to say filter projects dot value so let's copy and paste this dot value is going to be equal with props dot projects dot data and now we need to filter them say filter i'm going to add the project here and we need to return only the projects has the skill id the same with this id here so let's say return the project and the project has a skill object and the skill has the id return the project skill id is equal to the id we have okay so if this is all we assign the filter projects value with projects all the projects otherwise we filter them and return only the projects where the skill id is equal to this id we add that here let's save and let's see now if i refresh we have all the projects but if i select html we have only the html css we don't have javascript node.js we have laravel we have two of them Vue.js and so everything if i click all yeah we get all good now i want uh, because so if i select uh, laravel we have here the laravel as you can see but also i want to uh, change the color of the selected skill so for that i'm going to come here and create a constant again and i'm going to name it a uh, selected skill and by default this one is going to be a ref and i'm going to say all by default it's going to be the with the all button okay and here now i'm going to say if we selected that the selected skill dot value is going to be equal to the id what is the id so if this id is all this is going to be all again otherwise if this is not all but is something else we are going to reassign with that and not and now we have this skill id and if i inspect the elements uh, we don't need that just go to the view uh, we need to go inside the portfolio projects and we have the this selected skill is all if i select the html we have the id 2 laravel id 6 okay so now we have that let's go on the button and apply some classes so on the first button and on the second here i'm going to add a class add an array and i'm going to check if the selected skill is the same as all so if this is hard coded select selected skill is triple equal to all okay i'm going to say let's add uh, text light something like this okay by default it's going to have that text and on the dark mode is going to have this one so let's copy and paste it here otherwise let's 
leave it as it is now. If I save, oh, we need to do the same for the others. This is for the old button. This is for the buttons with skill ID. Now here we can say if the selected skill is equal to project skill ID. Project skill dot ID and do that. Let's save and let's see now. If I refresh. And as you can see, we have the all selected and has changed the color. If I select HTML, yeah, CSS, Laravel, and so on. Now, if you like something like this, okay. If you don't like, so let's add as a button here, make this as a button so we can add. Uh, I'm going to do that on the behind the scenes and I'm going to show you in the next video. So see you there.